Hello and welcome to BioPsych. This webinar will introduce you to the information present in BioPsych and to the many tools available to help you search and analyze information in BioPsych. Our overall mission at BioPsych is to provide you with up-to-date and comprehensive information on microbial genomes and metabolic pathways, together with powerful bioinformatics tools for searching, visualizing, and analyzing that information. This first webinar in the series will give you an overview of the functionality present in BioPsych. BioPsych has several main use cases. Overall, it's a web portal that integrates curated data for many genomes with powerful bio bioinformatics tools. First use case is that BioPsych is an encyclopedic reference on sequence genomes and pathways where you can look up information on genes, metabolic pathways, and more. There are 56 curated databases listed at the URL here, and overall the contents of BioPsych are derived from curation of 95,000 publications. There are 17,000 total databases in BioPsych, most of which are microbial. And BioPsych integrates a broad array of data, including metabolic pathways, regulation, and gene essentiality data. It has a number of sequence analysis tools. That's a number of, another of its use cases. A third use case is transcriptomics data analysis as well as metabolomics data analysis and comparative analysis at both the genome and the pathway levels. Here's the overall process that we use to create new pathway genome databases, as we call the BioPsych databases. It combines import of information from a variety of databases with computational inferences. The process begins with an annotated genome, such as most of which are obtained from the NIH RefSeq database. The computational inferences we apply predict metabolic reactions and transport reactions of the organism. They predict metabolic pathways as well as the genes that fill holes in those metabolic pathways. Our algorithms predict operons, compute orthologs, and compute PFAM domains. We then import regulatory data from Reg Transbase, subcellular location data from PSORT DB, Go terms and protein features from Uniprot. We also create database links to a variety of external databases, and we include organism phenotype data and gene essentiality data. All biopsych databases contain these computational inferences and contain some imported data depending on which data are available for a given genome. That gives us a basic tier three database, as we call it. Then for selected databases, we'll apply curation to yield either a tier one highly curated database or a tier two moderately curated database. Among the tasks our curators perform are importing additional protein functions from Uniprot, performing literature searches to find new gene functions and pathways that are entered into the database, authoring many review summaries of genes and pathways, updating a variety of database fields such as gene names and synonyms and activators and inhibitors of enzymes, entering new enzyme reaction associations, repredicting metabolic pathways and reviewing the predicted pathways, reviewing and extending transporter and re transport reaction associations, and defining regulatory sites and interactions. Our most highly curated database within BioPsych is the EcoPsych E. coli database, which has been derived from the curation of 38,000 publications, and it contains a, a wide variety of information from gene ontology annotations to protein features to multimeric complexes to regulation of gene expression. Now in the encyclopedic reference use case, BioPsych provides extensive search tools to help scientists find the information they're looking for and extensive visualization tools to speed the assimilation of the information that's found through these searches. BioPsych provides a variety of genome informatics tools, including gene protein and RNA search tools and genome site search tools. So the user can search for genes according to this large number of fields. There's a gene information page that lets the user retrieve the nucleotide sequence of a gene or genomic region or the amino acid sequence of the gene product. 
There's a transcription unit page that shows regulatory sites and interactions. There are blast search, sequence pattern search, and sequence alignment tools. There's a tool that will map SNPs to the nearest genes and show effects on translation. And there's a genome browser that can zoom from the full chromosome in one screen to the sequence level. It has a comparative mode and a tracks facility. It enables omics data painting, and it can produce a genome poster. Now here is our search tool for genes uh, applied in this case to a Salmonella database in BioPsych. And essentially it lets the user specify any combination of these different fields to search by the protein, the, the name of the gene or protein, its sequence length, its map position on the chromosome, which replicon we want to search, as well as these other searches such as searching by PI or molecular weight or small molecule ligand. And here's an example of result page, in this case for a curated Salmonella transporter that shows a mini review summary authored by our curators. It shows the subunit structure of this complex. Here's a B subtilis curated protein. In this case, a transcriptional regulator. So the Regulon tab shows the, the operons that are regulated by this regulator. This is our genome browser in its comparative mode which shows six different genomes aligned around this orthologous gene here to, to see uh, conserved and non-conserved regions. BioPsych also provides a variety of pathway informatics tools. There's a pathway search and a pathway information page. One can customize pathway diagrams for publication and create personalized multi-pathway diagrams. There are comparative pathway analysis tools. There's also a reaction search tool and a reaction information page. The reaction pages show reaction atom mappings present in our databases. There's a metabolite search and metabolite information page. There's also a zoomable organism specific metabolic map diagram for each organism in BioPsych from which a metabolic map poster can be generated. There's a metabolic root search tool that computes optimal paths from a starting metabolite to an ending metabolite. And it's possible to execute quantitative metabolic models through BioPsych. Here's an example pathway page, and in this case for Sinecococcus elongatus, along with a pathway mini review from the MetaPsych database. And here is a metabolite page for arginine, again in Sinecococcus elongatus, that shows all the reactions in this database involving arginine, both that consume and produce the compound. The next webinar will introduce you to BioPsych tools for omics data analysis and analysis of object sets.